I'm joined by Hugh Wynn, who's our director of support, and uh, also Daniel from uh, Teledynamics from uh, from Infocom. So have uh, have a full house. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to run through kind of a quick five, 10 minute overview of our topic today, which is Wi-Fi 6. And then what we'll do after that is show some of these products uh, over a webcam and, and live and get some of these unboxed so you can see them and, and ask questions about it. Uh, so that's kind of how, how this is going to go. Um, so we'll, we'll get started. Yeah, it'll be a, a pretty uh, casual chat, everybody. Uh, but, but before we get started, uh, sorry to interrupt here, Chris. Uh, I do want to plug a couple of things. Uh, number one, uh, if, if you all haven't seen already, uh, Teledynamics has an amazing blog called the Think Tank Blog. Uh, please uh, feel free to, to visit there. Uh, Daniel r runs a pretty good shop there. It covers a whole bunch of different topics and there's a lot of good topics uh good blog posts on there regarding um, the, our wi-fi stuff a lot of how to's he makes it really easy he breaks down step by step on how to configure certain things and so yeah check that out uh also if you uh if you haven't already checked out check out grand streams youtube uh page we have a very big repository of different uh youtube videos uh, ranging anywhere from product uh, reviews to uh, to product how tos, we call them video guides, short little nuggets on uh, that'll teach you how to do uh, certain things, and we we break them down to individual topics, so it's easy for you to search through. But yeah, please uh, please visit those uh, those two sites if you haven't already. Cool, thanks you. Jumping ahead. Uh, most of you know Grandstream for our widespread portfolio, I'll call it. Um, this is actually our 20th anniversary. And for those 20 years, our tagline has been, we believe in connecting the world. So you can see here our kind of traditional portfolio around some of the UC stuff uh, with the GRP GXV video phone as well as the WP cordless Wi-Fi handset. We've done the video conferencing units in the past and also the uh, facility access stuff, uh, especially with the uh, door intercoms, overhead speakers, etc. What many people don't know is Grandstream actually can tie all of these products together now with our networking portfolio and our access points, uh, routers, and soon-to-be routers, uh, as well as uh, other things that we have down the roadmap. Networking Solutions is actually our fastest growing product line, though. Uh, it has been for about the last 18 months or so. Uh, so we include really a full portfolio of access points right now a handful of different management options and have a, a pretty good amount of new products that have already come out here in 2022 or are slated to come out here in the back half of the year. So pretty exciting stuff. Grandstream has made a commitment to invest into the networking side and continue to evolve and uh, really bring out new solutions. Part of what's driving that growth is Grandstream is in the Wi-Fi Alliance now with our Wi-Fi 6 access points. Uh, what the Wi-Fi Alliance is, is a worldwide network of companies that really bring you Wi-Fi. So it's one of the world's most valued communications technologies. Uh, like I said, we believe in connecting the world. Our vision is to connect everyone, everything, and do it everywhere. Uh, so we are a member of that Wi-Fi Alliance now. With our Wi-Fi solutions, just generally speaking right now, like I said, we do have a few different management options, which I'll get to here in a minute. Uh, most of our APs have built-in controllers, and then we also offer cloud and on-premise solutions as well to manage those access points. We offer easy installation with a barcode scan that you're able to do. Uh, we have a full 
portfolio of both indoor and outdoor long range Wi-Fi APs and are actually getting into some point to point stuff down the line um, here later this year, if not early next year. Uh, kind of in tune with the management options, we also offer real-time monitoring alerts and reporting through our management portals. And this is 100% free and available for you. There's no additional cost or licensing fee to make that happen. Now, kind of getting into quick overview of these different management options. Like I said, most of our APs leave all of them except one or two have embedded controllers. Uh, there is no additional cost. Uh, they're, they're, they're included with the AP. Uh, and then segueing to the other two options, we have both a cloud and a on-premise solution. Uh, the GWN.cloud platform is free to use. GWN Manager is a free download. Uh, there is no limit of APs that you can put into the cloud. Uh, on the manager side, there is a 3,000 AP limit. Uh, but again, these options are completely and 100% free with no licensing fees on top of that. Now, just a quick glimpse of what our portfolio looks like right now. Most of you uh, probably seen some of the older APs that we have. The new ones look pretty similar, just newer technology underneath the hood. So these are our indoor APs. Uh, we have two by two, three by three, four by four options uh, with the Wi-Fi 5 part of the portfolio. And now with the Wi-Fi 6, we have a two by two option with the 7660 and a four by four option with the 7664. With the long range slash outdoor APs, I'll call it, uh, like the indoor APs, couple different uh, options depending upon what you're looking for uh, with a two by two and a four by four in the Wi-Fi 5 portion of the portfolio. We have the 7660 LR here, which is the two by two option. And then we have the 7664 LR coming out here later uh, this year, uh, I believe within the next month or so, actually, which will be the 4x4 option. And here's that 7664. Also coming out in July, uh, and I think Hugh has one of these to show as well. And uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But we do finally have new routers coming out both a Wi-Fi 5 and a Wi-Fi 6 option. This is the Wi-Fi 6 option here. So for those of you looking for GWN 7000 replacements, they are on the way and slated to really come out within the next 30 to 45 days or so. And mention this real quickly, but just kind of wanted to touch on it again real quickly. Uh, don't have this to show, but just to, to put the birdie in the ear, we do have point-to-point -point stuff coming out here. Um, if not late this year, early next year. So that is just something that we have on the roadmap, which will be a new uh, product segment, if you want to call it that, with our networking portfolio. Uh, so just something to uh, something to keep in mind if you are looking to standardize on a offering moving forward. So that's all I have to show. Uh, I'll flip it over and, and turn this to Hugh so he can run through kind of what these products look like and, and feel like. And uh, if anyone has any questions, we'll open the floor and feel free to ask as we go through that. Cool. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I don't know about everyone else, but I'm super excited about that point to point stuff. Uh, it just really means that I could be uh, fishing while I'm working at the same time. Uh, just have that wireless signal boosted out to my boat while I'm out there. <laughs> but yeah, no, we, we have, like Chris mentioned, we have a ton of new products in the Wi-Fi segment coming out this year. I think um, from what I remember off the top of my head, we have 22 new uh, GWN products slated for this year. So that's quite a bit. Uh, that makes up a majority of the new products for Grandstream. And I do have uh, a whole bunch of these here with me today that I want to show you. Um, like Chris said, you know, the, the, the indoor access points, the 7660, uh, you know, 
same type of form factor as, as our indoor access points has been, been around a while, but this is our first Wi-Fi 6 access point. It's a two by two. Uh, that's, that, that's been out for several months now. We have the 7664, which is the four by four version uh, that we re was released not too long ago. So we have those two options in, in Wi-Fi 6. Those are really cool. Um, what we, the more exciting products that, that, that in my opinion, uh, that we have coming out soon, <laughs> just like picking up all these products off the floor in my office here, <laughs> uh, are, are some of our, our new models. The first one, which is, I believe, launching tomorrow, is that right, Jacqueline? Uh, which is the 7625. Yeah, it should be today. <laughs> oh, today, yeah. This is launching out today. Uh, this is coming out today. This is actually a hybrid access point, which is very interesting. And what we mean by hybrid is that uh, on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, it's a two by two. And on the five gigahertz frequency, it's a four by four. Um, now this is, you know, assuming that most devices that require the higher bandwidth are probably going to be using five gigahertz anyways. Uh, so there really isn't a need uh, or that big of a need to have a four by four on the 2.4. And what that allows you to do is really cut, uh, cut down that price point to a more affordable price point for those that do want to deploy a whole bunch of these. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not, you know, in terms of, of features or anything, it's not, you know, something revolutionary, but it really does cut down uh, on, on that price point. So it'll fit actually right in between the 7615, which is a three by three and the 7630 which is a 4x4 so it fits right in between there you still get the 4x4 features uh, on the 5 gigahertz but at a price point that is closer to uh, the 7615 you know for those customers that need it so pretty excited about that it, it's, a, it's a really good option i think it's going to be very popular um but what i'm most excited about well i guess i've never done an unboxing video but here's it unboxing <laughs> this is our our 7624 which is our in wall this is probably what i'm most excited about because i've seen a huge demand for this type of product um you know throughout throughout the world not just here in north america but in in, in other countries especially where you know hospitality is is really uh, making a, a big comeback you know travel and hotels I think uh, I, I, I read uh, just yesterday on, I don't know if the CNN is a reliable source or not, that's debatable, but the Hilton <laughs> hotel chain is, uh, is expanding, I, I believe, by like 25 or 30% uh, within, within the next couple of years. So they'll be building a lot more properties because they're expecting a boom in hospitality. And you know what? Something like this is perfect for that. This is an in-wall. It fits right into the the Ethernet plates that uh, that are already there or, or that they're building, and it also has additional three Ethernet ports uh, down here, and these are Gigabit Ethernet ports. Two of them, uh, which ha which ha which happen to uh, provide PoE uh, power, PoE output power. So just think about it in a hotel room scenario, uh, where. They're most likely, or actually in most countries, they're mandated to have uh, at least uh, one to two phones in every single hotel room, right? So you have one on the desk that you can power up from here and another one in the bathroom that you can power up from here. So it's all in one uh, device that fits right into that. Um, it goes right into the faceplate. You can screw it right on. And then we have a faceplate covering that goes right on top to make it look uh, nice and neat. So I'm very excited about that. It's um, you guys know we, we have something similar to that right now, which is the 7602, uh, but that's more like a desk mount, and um, it, it's, it's only uh, fast Ethernet and not gigabit. So this is also a much more powerful access point than the 7602. Uh, it, it, it is also a hybrid. It's a 2x2 on the 2.4 and a 4x4 on, on the 5. So yeah, very excited about that. Um, the 7664 LR, which is our 4x4 long range, is coming out very, very soon, within the next couple of weeks or so. Uh, this finally brings out that 4x4 to our Wi-Fi 6 long range models. Um, so for those that require that, that longer range and the higher capacity, that's going to be 
coming out pretty soon. Hugh, on um, that note, we have a question from Kevin. So the new outdoor long-range Wi-Fi units, are those supporting mesh networking, and does it use a dedicated channel? Yep. Uh, so all of our access points uh, support mesh, uh, including that new outdoor unit. Um, now, in terms of dedicated channel, uh, I would recommend it that you configure it that way. You don't have to, uh, but I would recommend that you do, um, especially um, for for outdoor congested uh, scenarios. Also, I in that point when you are creating a mesh, I would also recommend that you use, uh, in most cases, uh, the five gigahertz frequency to build that mesh backhaul, just because the overall bandwidth is better. You will lose a little bit of range, but I think the performance, uh, the, the, the performance uh, increases uh, far outweigh uh, the loss of range there. Cool, I hope that answered your, your question there, Kevin. And uh, I feel just like you, Zach, I can't wait for the point to point. <laughs> That's gonna be, uh, a game changer for us, at least in my opinion. And it's not just point to point, but we also have point to multi-point models as well. Uh, the next model that I have up that I wanna show you guys, um, and quickly before I do this, shout out to Tony. Thanks for joining us all the way from New Zealand. Hope to see you again very soon. Uh, this is our router. Finally, we have a Wi-Fi router coming out, the GWN7062. Um, yeah, the name is a little bit confusing, but let me give you guys a tip. If the, if the numbers in the name starts with a seven, six, that's going to be an access point. If it starts with a seven, zero, it's going to be a router. So like GWN 7,000 is a router. GWN 7062 is a router. All of our access points start with a seven, six, like the seven, six, two, four, seven, six, two, five, just a tip. But this is our first, uh, wife, uh, wireless router. Uh, introduced to the market. We previously had the GWN7000, which was just a wired router. This has the integrated Wi-Fi built right into it. And the most important thing of this router that I can think of is that you'll be able to manage it with the GWN cloud. Uh, very, you know, th th there's only a, a, maybe less than a handful of products on the market right now in terms of, of, of being a router that you can manage via the cloud, uh, which is, to me, uh, gonna be a game changer uh, for the market. It's a very affordable uh, and sleek looking package that, you know, for me, I wouldn't mind having this uh, sitting on a, on a kitchen counter, for example. Um, you know, it's not a, a big giant rack mounted type router. Um, one of the things that we are doing with this particular router um, that would differentiate it from the market is that uh, we're building in a bunch of built-in optimizations uh, for today's working environment. Um, you know, I, I think uh, everyone is aware, you know, we, we're all uh, in a very different working environment now compared to uh, before the pandemic, you know, especially with working from home. And then now everyone's returning to the office, but not fully. Uh, I, I, I guess uh, it, 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 it's big for everyone that doesn't work for Tesla. Uh, uh, you know, with with Grandstream uh, in particular, we're we're actually finally opening up our office in July. Can you believe it? We, our offices have been closed since then, but when we return to the office in July, it's still going to be uh, hybrid mode. So, you know, we're we're not required to go into the office every day. Most of us are going to be working from home a majority of the time. Um, Jacqueline, for example, is working in Florida right now. We don't have an office in Florida and who knows where she'll be in a couple of weeks. And uh, working from home, it's just going to be, it's just part of our lives. That's, that's just uh, how it is for, for the time being. And, you know, with this being cloud managed, uh, just think of a scenario where you have your, your salespeople like, uh, or, or your sales team, like, like Chris, for example. Um, and there's no knock on salespeople, but they don't focus on the technical details of configuring routers and configuring devices. That's not, you know, that's not, they don't have time for that, right? And so what the IT administrator can do is just ship one of these devices out to Chris and have it managed via the cloud and create these VPN tunnels back into our main office uh, to have a secure connection to access 
you know, our ERP system, our, our CRMs, or any internal resources that would normally require a VPN connection. Um, you know, instead of having to um, say, for example, uh, send out these uh, VPN certificates and have Chris download software in his computer and try to install all that stuff. Everything can be done through the cloud, nice and easy. All, all Chris has to do is just plug this in and he has a secure connection back to uh, the corporate office. So pretty cool. Um, I wasn't going to show this today, but since I have it, I do have the GWN7052, which is the five, which is a Wi-Fi version, a Wi-Fi five version of a router. Um, it, it is a little bit more consumer looking. Looks like uh, you know your your typical gaming uh, or consumer uh, access point, but uh, the draw is again, it is going to be cloud managed. Uh, and the price point is going to be very, very competitive to what's out there in the market. Cool. Uh, I see a couple of questions here um, from uh, from Daniel, our panelist. <laughs> is the router uh, still a local AP controller? The answer is yes, but it's not going to be able to uh, to manage as many access points as a GWN seven thousand. Uh, so you'll be able to manage, um, you know, uh, depending on the on the two models, uh, anywhere from 30 to 50, just like one of our access points. So it's still great for a fairly sizable uh, installation or deployment, uh, but not for, say, a, a large in in deployment where you have hundreds of APs. I think that also answers your question there, Kevin. And Kevin asks, will it support IPsec VPN? Uh, yes, it will. Um, and uh, I believe it's uh, it, in addition to the IPsec, we'll also support OpenVPN um, and VP2P as well. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's going to ask this question, but the answer is yes, it will also support PPPoE over VLAN. I know that's a popular question that I think it always gets asked, so it's supported on there too. Um, so for for both the seven zero um, five two and the seven zero six two, they 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 both have the gig WAN ports, but only the seven zero six two will have a configurable LAN slash WAN port, so that you can create that dual WAN uh, connection. Uh, these are only one gig; it's a it's a two by two. Um, but we will have models in the future, for example, the 7064, which is the 4x4 version of the wireless router uh, that will have a 2.5 gigabit port for those faster connections. But these are all one gig for now. Cool. Yeah, so that those are some of the toys that I have. And, and typically, from my experience, uh, you know, once I have these toys in my hand, it's pretty close to being launched. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited about every single one of these. Uh, Kevin asked if the LAN ports are PoE. I think that's what it says. Uh, the LAN ports are not PoE, unfortunately. So these do, uh, on, on the routers, um, they will not be, um, you will not be able to power any additional devices to do the LAN ports. Cool. So, so Chris, I know we talked about this earlier, but um, which one are you most excited about? Yeah, probably the seven six six four, because that's really the upgrade from the seventy six thirty, which has been our top seller in North America really since it launched. Uh, so, I think seventy six thirty with new technology. Yeah, the, the 7664 is great. I mean, um, you know, at least for me, um, you know, I'm running the 7664 right now. Do I need it? Probably no. But do I want it? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, Ludo, always, to, answer, yeah. to answer your question, the hybrid AP is Wi-Fi 5. Yeah, so to kind of... Um, kind of expand on what Ludo is asking. Um, you know, our 7664 uh, is a Wi-Fi 6 4x4, and it, it's a full uh, 4x4, it's not a hybrid. And, you know, we do get a lot of questions because, you know, when you're, 
I, I hate getting into the comparison game uh, with with other vendors, but it's inevitable that inevitable that people are going to compare our access points to someone like say Ubiquity, for example, right? And um, you know their their four by four Wi-Fi six, uh, which is uh, I believe the U six LR. Um, th th that one is actually a hybrid Wi-Fi six. It's a two by two on the two point four and four by four on the five. Um, you know, which is, you know, it's also a, a, an amazing access point. Um, but, you know, you'll, you, when you look at the specs, because we are the, that, that full Wi-Fi uh, 6 on there, and not a hybrid on the 7664 at least, you, you'll see that our specs are a little bit better. Um, and, the, you know, the, so therefore, and I hate saying this because I'm not sales, the, the price is just a little bit higher. But just know that you are going to get a pretty big performance increase uh, for the most part. Now we will have some uh, some hybrid Wi-Fi sixes coming out in the future as well. So stay tuned for that one. Cool. Well, yeah, it's uh, and we try to keep this as casual as possible and a little bit different than what we used to do. Um, I know I should probably take care of my hands a little bit more so I can be a better hand model for these uh, unboxing videos. Uh, but these are fun. I really like these unboxing videos. I mean, you, you actually get to see the product uh, instead of just a PowerPoint. Yep. So if anyone has any more questions, feel free to shoot them over. We'll hang around for, for a little bit longer. Uh, I believe... I think Maria just popped in. I believe we're going to be raffling off a GW in 7660, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, if you're the lucky one that gets uh, gets it, then we'll have uh, Maria or your sales rep from Teledynamics reach out on that. Cool. Are we uh, going to be raffling that out right now or afterwards? I don't know. Let's do afterwards. After. Cool. I thought someone was going to uh, put up their random number generator on the on the on the screen for us to all look at. <laughs> yeah, Ludo, in in wall APs are getting popular. We uh, we're we're pretty excited for it too. We got a couple good kind of exciting opportunities that are already involved with uh, with that particular AP. <clears throat> cool well if we don't have any other questions let me be the first to say thank you to everybody for joining us today uh, thanks for taking that time out of your day and thanks daniel for uh, joining us all the way while you're doing an exhibition that's uh, that's dedication you bet thank you guys for putting this on for us yeah anytime yes thank you everyone you're right, welcome cool. Well, if that's it, we'll uh, we'll wrap this up.